Excel Specialized Trailers offers many hauling options to suit your needs. As loads get heavier, hauling systems help distribute weight and scale loads more effectively. The XL Power Booster is a popular option to add additional axles on the rear of a trailer. The Power Booster uses hydraulic pressure and nitrogen accumulators to equalize and maintain ground forces on the axles during transit. Follow along to learn how to operate XL's Power Booster. Failure to comply to specialized procedures may cause serious injury, death, and equipment damage. When hauling a load with your power booster, it is important to distribute the ground forces properly on all axles. Every XL power booster is equipped with an operation decal identifying the controls and instructions, as well as a ground force pressure reference chart to determine the hydraulic pressure needed to achieve the desired ground force. To apply ground force to the power booster axles, first, ensure the leveling valve on the booster axle is on and operational, and the suspension is being supplied with air. Next, move the control handle to neutral. Then, start the power unit with the controls mounted on the side of the power booster. Next, turn the ball valve handle to the open position. Before loading ground force onto the power booster's axles, refer to the ground force pressure reference chart to determine the necessary pressure to achieve a corresponding ground force on the power booster. Use the trailer air weigh scale, suspension pressure gauge, or scales to assess ground forces on the main trailer axles. The power booster axle ground forces should never exceed the main trailer axle ground forces. Now, Move the control handle to the load position and hold it there until the desired hydraulic pressure is reached. Turn the ball valve handle to the closed position. The ball valve isolates the system to maintain ground force during transit. Turn the power unit off and close its fuel shutoff valve. Push the control handle down until it engages into the travel position. The control handle must be in the travel position for the booster to function properly in transit. Now, hydraulic pressure is applied correctly to the XL power booster and the ground force is distributed to the axles. Follow these steps to unload your power booster. The control handle should be in the travel position to begin this process. To reduce the hydraulic pressure on the power booster, partially open the ball valve until the desired pressure is reached on the gauge, then close the ball valve. To completely unload the booster, open the ball valve and allow the hydraulic pressure gauge to return to zero. Lifting the booster axles can be beneficial to get the trailer over uneven terrain or to drive in reverse. This should not be attempted on public roads or during transit. Please note, lifting the booster axle is only possible if both the power booster and trailer are equipped with top lift brackets and the flip axle lifting links. To lift the axles, First, ensure all personnel are clear of the power booster and engage the pivot pin to lock the power booster pivot point. Move the control handle to neutral. Start the power unit with the controls on the side of the power booster. Next, turn the ball valve handle to the open position. Raise the control handle to the lift position until the desired height is reached. To achieve more clearance between the booster tires and the ground, the main trailer air suspension can be raised higher as needed. Thank you for learning how to operate XL Power Boosters. Go to xlspecializedtrailer.com to check out photos, specs, and options on XL Boosters and many more heavy haul trailers. If you have any additional questions, ask your dealer or an XL sales representative at 877-283-4852.